Okay, we're going to graph the surface x plus 2y equals 6 in three dimensions. Um, so there are a couple things to notice about this before we jump in and do too much work. Uh, one of the things to notice is that this is a plane. Um, we have the standard form ax plus by plus cz equals d. Um, but the other thing to notice is that the coefficient of the z term is 0. We have a z term missing. So this is a plane. But probably the easiest way to graph this is to treat it as if it were a cylinder. Um, so we'll graph the trace in the xy plane, uh, which will be just a line in the xy plane, and then we'll just extend that parallel to the z-axis. So um, we're graphing this just like it were a cylinder um, where z is a free variable. Um, All right, so first let's start by graphing this as a line in the xy plane. So however you want to think about doing that from algebra, I tend to find the intercepts. Um, we'll cross the x-axis at 6 and the y-axis at 3. Some people prefer to get it in y equals mx plus b form, um, but that's just kind of extra steps. So there's that line. Uh, that is the generating curve in the xy plane. Of course, that extends beyond uh, those two intercepts that I drew there, but uh, we're going to focus on just the part in the first octant. All right, and then just like with the other cylinders we drew, I'm going to take some strategically chosen points along that generating curve and extend them parallel to the z-axis. So I'm going to use one point here that is my x-intercept. I'm going to extend parallel to the z-axis. And then I'm also going to use my y-intercept and extend that parallel to the z-axis. I'm going to try to draw those extensions so that they're roughly the same length. And then I'll draw a copy of the generating curve up here, which should be a line, but I'm not very good yet at drawing straight lines with my stylus. Okay, so then that gives us the plane, or at least a portion of the plane. I'm going to draw in some contour lines here to make it look flat and not curved. So, whoa. Let me undo that one. Um, so I'm going to just draw some lines here, cross hatching contour lines that are parallel to the uh, red and blue lines that I've already drawn here. Make it look nice and flat. And of course that plane extends down below um, the first octant and extends back and to the right and forward and to the left as well and further up as well. Um, but this gives us at least a portion of the plane so we can see how it's oriented.